This is Mato. In this video, we will show you the game between Viktor Kolchnoi and Nikolai Nikolaevich Gusev. This very interesting chess game was played in Frunze in 1956. And where is Frunze? This is a very difficult question. Did you know that there are 29 places in the world called Frunze? There are 10 places named Frunze in the Russian Federation, 5 in Ukraine, 5 in Kazakhstan, 3 in Kyrgyzstan, 2 in Uzbekistan, 2 in Moldova, and 1 in Tajikistan. Oh, and there is one more. There is also Frunze in Azerbaijan. Hmm. Is it a popular name or not? Enough geography for today. Let's have a look at the game. Viktor Korsno had white pieces and he started the D4. Nikolai Nikolaevich Gusev played D5. Queen's Gambit declined. Knight to F3. C6, Queen to C2, Knight to D7, Bishop to F4, that's when G to F6, E3, Black to move. Gusev played the Queen to A5, Bishop to E7, and Bishop to B4 are two most commonly played moves. We have a Queen to A5, check, Knight from B to D2, Bishop to E7, Bishop to d3, d takes on c4, bishop takes pawn on c4, b5, bishop to e2, bishop to b7, and both players cast at the king's side. a4. This is excellent move by white. Queen is now misplaced on a5. Gusev considered b4 and didn't like it because of knight to c4. So, he played rook from f to c8. a takes on b5 and black queen can stay on a5. Queen to d8. Pawn takes on c6. Rook takes on c6. Queen to b1. White is the pawn up. Knight to h5 in order to assassinate the cardinal. Bishop to e5, f6. Bishop to g3 and knight takes bishop. Kochno of course captured towards the center. Knight to b6. Bishop to a6. Queen to c8. Bishop to d3, threatening, bishop takes pawn on h7, g6, knight to b3, knight to d5, knight to a5, attacking the rook, rook to b6, rook to c1, there was no point in taking the bishop, because then queen takes on b7, and black is okay. So we have rook to c1, queen to d7, knight to c4 attacking the rook, rook to b4. This is the most interesting moment of the game. White to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Viktor Korchnoi played bishop takes pawn on g6. Pawn takes bishop. Queen takes pawn check. Bishop was sacrificed for two pawns plus the attack on black king. But how to continue the attack? If you saw bishop sacrifice on g6, it's good. 
But what now? Kolchnoi already knew what to do in this position before he sacrificed the bishop. The move is knight from c to e5, attacking the queen and threatening a checkmate. Pawn takes knight, knight takes on e5, the same threat. Queen to e8, saving the queen and at the same time defending f7. White to move. How would you continue? Victor Korchner played queen to h7. How should black continue? What is the best try? Is this the best try? Then perhaps white is winning a queen like this. This is check. Then the queen takes knight, the queen takes queen. In the game, Gusev captured the pawn. White to move and to checkmate in one. Checkmate. And let's go back to move number 25. This is the position. Did you see the killer move? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.